Hello traders, Rich here and welcome to Kukun S episode 40 and today we are going to go over KCS analysis. As usual, if you don't know about KuCoin, it's one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world with over 700 billion traded volume on the platform and 10 million adjusted users from more than 200 different countries. KuCoin has many features like margin trading, spot trading, mining pools, staking, lending and many more with over 700 listed coins. If you don't have an account yet, I make sure to attach my referral link in the description below. And if you create an account through it, you'll benefit from 20% discounts on your trading fees. So let's get started. And as usual, cheers. We can clearly see that KCS has been trading inside this big watch pattern. You can always refer to my previous analysis. You can see the previous episodes. I guess episode number 38 was on KCS, 36 was on, on KCS. You can watch these for a practical example on how I'm updating the charts week after week. So we have been bearish trading inside this big wedge pattern, making big impulse movements, small correction. And we know that we might be having a long term shift in momentum because the bears are still in control, but they fail to make a big impulse movement just like previously, which is the nature of a wedge pattern. If it was a channel, then we'll be having big impulse movements pushing price lower and lower. But if it's a wedge pattern, it means that the bears are still in control, but the impulse movements are getting, as you see, flat and smaller in size. So big and steep, steep and still big. As you can see, it's going smaller and flat. However, it's only an early alert to prepare ourselves, but for the bulls to take over from a long-term perspective and to activate this uh, bullish reversal, uh, by setup, we need to see a break above the wedge pattern. We already saw it, but for extra confirmation, we need to see a break above the last swing high, which is currently around 11, 11.5. Once we see this break, then we'll be expecting a long-term shift in momentum from bearish to bullish, and we'll be expecting KCS to start and make higher highs and higher lows. For now, if you remember from last two episodes, we were looking for buy setups here from a short-term and medium-term perspective because we're expecting the price to reject the support area and round number five. If we zoom into daily time frame, you can see the previous major high right there, which we can see even better from H4. So previously, let me go back and update the previous ones first. So, so like two, like two previous episodes, I posted that we are currently around the lower bound of this big, big range. And we are looking for the bulls to take over here from a short term perspective by breaking above this high and then to break above this one for the bulls to take over from a medium term perspective which also happened and we traded higher. But from a longer term perspective, I was waiting for a break above this last major high, right? So we had the break, we made a retest of it and we traded higher. So now we are bullish short term, medium term and long term. Of course, as mentioned, for the bulls to take over from a long term perspective and to expect a big bullish movement, we need to see a break above this. For now, we are trading inside these two support and resistance. So that's our support and that's our resistance. And KCS is currently approaching the resistance, which has been previously support also that's the last major low as you clearly see around 8.5 to 9 so as we approach this area we'll be expecting a correction meanwhile we can see that we are bullish making high lows and higher highs right just like previously we have been bullish here. If you remember, I posted or I drew the trend line that will remain bullish unless we break below it. Now we have a steeper trend line since we broke upward and we, we went parabolic uh, upward. We have this big impulse movement. However, we can clearly see that also the impulse movements are getting weaker. Big impulse, small correction, big impulse, small correction. And if this impulse ends here, it would be a small impulse movement resulting in an almost a double top. And the confirmation would be if we break below, that's why you see my alert right here, just below the previous low. In this case, if we break it down, the bears would take over from a short term perspective to start a correction where we'll be looking here around uh, this area, the previous major high from H4 for trend following buy setups because we broke above this last major high, as we see, which was this entire range. 
for now we are slightly bullish and we can of course like, like not slightly we are bullish but i'm i'm like talking about this one we are still bullish and as long as we don't break below the previous low we would be bullish and we'll be expecting higher highs and higher lows especially if we break above this last high now we'll be expecting further bullish movement till where till around the 8.5 to 9 which as, as you see the previous resistance previous low and the resistance from weekly time frame as well so long story short the bulls took over short term medium term long term while holding the buy it depends on you i personally added third here third here and the last third around this area that's how i divide my trades uh, into like different chunks or different bags and i'll keep holding uh, my my buy until we reach this area will be bullish and we can still trade higher from here until we break below the previous low which might be here or might be here as an early reversal and then around this area i'll be looking for new buy setups that's it for kcs best of luck and i'll see you hopefully on the next one